Hey, how you doing? It's Tom Breeze here from TomBreeze.com and in this next video I'm going to talk about the Reformer system. In fact, I have some downloadable notes below this video. If you click that link, you'll be able to instantly download some notes that's going to guide you through this video. As you can see in this video right now, you can see me teaching this material in one of my workshops. And when I do this in my programs, you'll find that I do this very early on, as this helps tremendously with your public speaking confidence. One of the biggest mistakes that most nervous presenters unwittingly make is that of their communication. We often either get too prepared and write absolutely everything down, so we're almost like reading, and that is a big no-no. Or we we'll hope that we'll be all right in the night, and we don't plan because often we feel too nervous about planning, and this is obviously problematic for many different reasons. If your mind has ever gone blank, or you don't know how to or where to start, this is going to be paramount for your speaking success. Likewise, if you find the first few moments the most difficult, this next tool will transform the way that you feel. So listen in and take some notes because this really will make a massive difference to the way that you communicate, but also to your public speaking confidence. The format system was devised by a lady called Dr. Bernice McCarthy, and she was an NLP expert and also a social psychologist. And she carried out some research with pupils from schools and colleges and university, but also took it to the workplace as well, as she wanted to understand how audiences listen and learn. Now she found that there was four preferred ways of learning. And there's some people that will be the why people. These are people that need to understand the reasons before they're ever motivated to listen. They need to know why they should be listening. And we often find these people in positions of authority that have this particular learning style. For instance, bosses, or we might be pitching to directors, and they'll want to know why you're there, why you're talking to them, and then they'll listen to what you have to say. Then we have the what people. And what people are driven by information. They need to know all of the facts before they can make a decision. They need to make that decision or make, make their own mind up on their own. And therefore they need all the information to make that accurate decision. And then we have the how people. And how people need to get a hands-on experience. They need to see exactly how something works and then they get a much fuller understanding. And then you also get what people call the what-if people. And these are people that are asked in their own minds, what if I do do this, what if I don't do this? And therefore, when we communicate with what-if people, we need to discuss future implications. What if we do do this, what if we don't do this? What's the outcome look like? And what's the aim of this? I hope that makes sense. But if it doesn't, I'm gonna give you an example now. Recently, Apple launched the new iPad and well I watched the keynote speech and I thought it was fantastic but to be fair they use this system in a very clever way because first of all no one really knew too much about the iPad and therefore Steve Jobs the guy that was given the keynote speech had to first of all tell people why they created the iPad then he went on to say what the iPad does all the features all the information all the details then he went on to the how section, and this is the point where he sat down and actually played around with the iPad. And of course they had what he was doing projected up onto the screen, but it allowed everybody to get a really good feel for exactly how the iPad works. And then there was a large what if section. And they talked about cost, how much to expect, what to expect in the future, and all this type of thing. Because this allowed the audience to know that it's not just something for the now, it's something for the future as well. Now, he ran through those four sections, the why, what, how, what if. And this is how you need to communicate to your audiences as well. Because this is the most effective way of communicating and getting the result. I mean, that's what effective communication is all about. Okay, so now, let's think about how we can use this information for your next presentation. Okay, so you've got your four sections. Why, what, how, and what if. 
and this should guide you as you go through your presentation. As a result, you'll know that you never have to fully face that worrying prospect of forgetting your words or forgetting your place. So you might want to grab a piece of paper and pen and make some notes as we go through this. First of all, you've got to have a think about what your message is and who's your audience. When I say what's your message, think about what you'd like the audience to take away from that presentation. And then you want to also think about that audience you're speaking to. We then talk about the first section, which is the why section. And here you want to talk about certain problems your audience might be facing. You might want to pull on their motivations, what they're motivated to get, and what they're motivated to run away from. Talk about their values, the reasons they should be listening to this, the significance of your speech or your talk. And then you'll move into the what section. And here you're going to go into much more information, all the facts, all the history, almost like running through your agenda. Now, of course, make sure you have an appropriate level of detail within your presentation. And then you'll go into the how section. And here you want to give examples, case studies, run them through your product or services so they can get a real good feel of what you have to offer. And finally, you'll go into your what if section. And here, you want to talk about future implications. What's going to happen in the short, medium and long-term future? What can they really expect? What problems might arise? Okay, good. So you've got a good understanding now. You've got your four sections, the why, what, how and what if. And these four points will guide you through each and every presentation. In fact, if you get really used to using these four points, you'll find that you'll be able to speak off the cuff easily and effectively whenever you're required. So at those daunting moments where you might be in a meeting and someone says, here, what do you think about this? What's your ideas on this? What's your take on this? And it almost feels like we're in a rabbit in the headlight situation. This format system can really help you just guide you through that, that moment. Tell them why, what, how and what if. And you'll find that each and every time you are required to speak, you'll do it very effectively and people will be respecting you giving your authority and seeing you as a credible source of information. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this training video. And what you might like to know is that I actually use the whole of the format system through this quick presentation with you. So if you want to, go back, see exactly how I structured this and notice I use those four points, why, what, how and what if. I'll speak to you soon. Thanks very much.